Hi you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new, I'm so glad you're here. Today we're gonna to be doing a late night work with me. It is about 10.09 here and it's pretty late. We had a really long day today. It is actually Halloween today. So today we just focused on hanging out with our girl and we took our daughter out to trick or treat kind of. She, we had her in a little wagon and we just kind of pulled her around. She's only 15 months so we didn't let her like run up to the doors or anything. Uh, we'll definitely be doing that next year but this year we just kind of walked around and socialized a little bit and came back home and then we got her ready for bed she is sleeping now and this is my work time so when she goes to bed for the night that is my time to work which is sometimes kind of late so this video is going to be exactly that a late night working video so I hope this serves as some inspiration for you guys and just work motivation. So tonight we're going to be working on the orders that came in over the weekend. We have quite a few that came in. I actually got four of the vinyl decals that came in yesterday. I just went ahead and got those done and ready and packaged up to ship out tomorrow. So we do have a few more orders that we're going to work on tonight. And looks like we have some baby milestones, birth stats, signs actually some ornaments and um, yeah another birth stats. My ornament collection actually drops tomorrow so I'm going to be working on that a little bit too. Just getting the listings fully completed and double check make sure everything looks good and then those are going to be launching on my website tomorrow. I already launched them on my Etsy a couple of days ago but I was waiting till November 1st on my website to actually start, um, start launching them there. So that's actually what we're going to be working on tonight. Please comment down below if you have any other video ideas for me or anything else you might want to see me do. I would love to hear your feedback and see what you guys think. I hope you enjoy this video and let's get to work. I actually made a couple of changes to my office recently. I don't know if you guys have noticed yet, but I actually added in some shelving and a pegboard. I got all of this from Ikea, but the shelves are just acrylic shelves. They are actually holding my acrylic paints. And then the pegboard is something I got at Ikea as well. I'm really loving that um, and how it looks in here. I'm trying to jazz my office up a little bit and just make it a little more me and a little more functional and cute. So yeah, once I'm done with it, I do plan on shooting a video for you guys just to show you like my completed office tour. If you're interested in seeing that, please comment down below and let me know if you're interested and I would love to do that. Um, if you have any ideas, like office ideas, let me know too. I'm kind of having a hard time setting my mind on like exactly what I want to do, especially like on this back wall back here. I have um, a little space. I want to put like some shelving, but, but the one that I want from Ikea is completely out of stock and it's been out of stock for months. So I'm going to have to come up with something else on that. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and gather our materials that we need. So our acrylic pieces for each of these orders and the paint, paint brushes and all that. So we're going to head over to the inventory closet and get all that stuff.
right, you guys, it is now the next day. So we got all of the painting done last night, and then tonight we're going to be doing um, a lot of vinyl work, packaging the orders up and all that. So I did wanna go ahead and run through with you guys about sealing acrylic. So I do get a lot of questions about, do I seal the acrylic pieces after I paint them? And the answer to that is, it depends. So like these here, these are the birth stat signs that we painted last night. And um, these I will seal because they're painted fully. They're not brush stroke painted. There's zero clear acrylic showing. So if this was to get scratched, God forbid it got scratched like in chipping somehow, or once a customer gets it and maybe their baby gets a hold of it, child gets a hold of it and it gets scratched up, if they drop it, whatever happens. The polycrylic, which this is what I use when I do seal, it's water-based polycrylic, and um, it doesn't really matter if you get the gloss or the matte. I will probably get the matte next time. I got gloss this time just to test it out. It doesn't matter, but the gloss leaves a glossy finish, and matte leaves more like a satin matte finish. Um, like I said, it doesn't really matter what type you get on that, but polycrylic will help to protect the paint on the acrylic pieces. Now, is it something you have to do? No, you don't have to do that. But on things like this that are fully painted, you do not want it to get scratched up and the customer be upset because their product is damaged and they might not have the right paint color to like go in and fix it. So that just gives it an extra layer of protection. Now on my baby milestones, I don't do that because there's so many of them and it's really only used for like one photo. It's not something, I mean it's a keepsake, but it's not something that you'll be getting out all the time or maybe like displaying in the room. And then for those, they're also brush stroke painted. So if there is like a tiny little scratch or a tiny little like piece of paint that's come off for whatever reason, um, it's not that noticeable as opposed to something like this that's fully painted. So for these tonight, I'm gonna go ahead and put a clear coat of polycrylic on these. And um, yeah, and then we'll go from there. I just wanted to run over that because I have gotten some questions on that, which I had the same question when I first started and it, I kind of just learned through trial and error what I feel like needs to be sealed and what I feel like doesn't need to be sealed. So I do add in all my listings um, a little note that says the paint can come off if you like really use and abuse these things. The paint will kind of chip off if it gets scratched or something. So just to be careful with it and treat it like pretty carefully. So, so far I have not had any customers complain about paint chipping off or paint coming off, but the polycrylic, if it is something that you really, that's gonna be long lasting, like an ornament, I would definitely seal all ornaments because the person's gonna be using it for years and years. So you definitely want that to be long lasting and so you can use a polycrylic on those. I would say, a lot. so a lot of my, the signs that I make for the baby's nurseries, um, those I do seal as well because it's like I said something that's going to be used often and something that's going to be used for years to come So you do want that to last a long time. If you have any other questions, please do leave those down below Let's go ahead and get started for tonight
right you guys so now we have our acrylic pieces painted the vinyl is cut and weeded and now we're going to go ahead and start putting the vinyl onto the acrylic pieces so i did want to go over something really quick before i go on to that step whenever you paint acrylic pieces sometimes paint can kind of like get on the edge so i wanted to go ahead and show you guys i don't know if you can see it here how there's a little bit of paint right there on the edge um i actually will just go in with like my finger and i'll just kind of like run my finger across the edge of it just to knock that paint off i did use scissors one time and it just made a it just kind of like messed it up a little bit so i, I don't know if there's another way but i just kind of use my finger and the paint just comes right off on the edge so that's what I do to clean that up. I just think it looks a lot nicer. And then I need to peel the clear coating off the other side of the acrylic piece and then I'll put the vinyl on. And yeah, so we'll go ahead and do that. I'm watching The Bachelorette right now. And y'all, the drama, my goodness. My favorite so far are Nate and Joe. If Michelle picks one of them, I think she will be so happy. Who do you guys think she should pick? All right, let's get back to work. Okay, so now we have all of the vinyl put onto the acrylic pieces. I did run out of the canvas bags that I put all my baby milestone orders in, so I need to make some more of those. I did already send the design over to the Cricut, so I'm going to go ahead and weed this out and get it ready to be ironed on to the canvas bags. 
basically these bags are for the customer to keep the baby milestones in because there's 12 to 14 pieces depending on what package they order um, this is just a bag for them to keep it in it'll just say baby's first year so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that Now that we have all of our orders completed, we're going to go ahead and start putting them into the shipping packaging. So I do already have them packaged up into their little cello bags, and then I do have um, the baby milestones put into the little bags here. And for the ornaments, for this type of ornament, whenever people are ordering like multiples at a time, I just use some cardstock paper, and um, I think it's the 100 gram cardstock, and I just use like some pieces of that to do the little back in there. I did a hole punch and put the chiffon ribbon through there. So we're gonna go ahead and package these up and get these ready to ship out tomorrow. I also wanted to talk to you guys about my Christmas collection that launched. I know if you noticed, I have some ornaments that I worked on today. I launched my Christmas collection two days ago and I've already gotten quite a few orders, which is crazy. Um, I'm really excited about it and I'm excited to do ornaments again this year. But um, I just love the holiday season and making ornaments that say people's names or that are like really sentimental to people. It's something that goes on their Christmas tree every year and it's something that they'll use for years and years to come. So I just get really excited to do that. Just to be in the holiday spirit. I know it's been a hard year for a lot of people and just being able to already get into the holiday spirit like through work, it's pretty exciting.
All right, you guys, obviously someone here woke up. So we're gonna go ahead and head on to bed. We were able to get all of the orders done though, so that's really awesome. And we'll ship those out tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up before you go. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Can you say bye-bye? Hmm.